Hello Excel champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you which formula to use in Excel to calculate the quarter for each date. Um, so what I mean by that, January, February, March is going to be the first, uh, the, the first quarter. And for example, uh, October, November, December is going to be the fourth quarter. Um, so I'm going to give you the formula to do this and I'm going to give you the file with everything with the formula that you can use. Uh, it's going to be available to download right below the video so you can click download it and follow with me how it's built. Um, so to calculate the quarter for any date I'm going to base this on the month so first I need to compute the month of each date um, it's going to be one for January and then when I have this I want to divide it uh, in uh, I want to divide it by three I want to make um, a quarter is actually we have four quarters of three months so I want to divide it by three so and I want to take the, um, the entire part of that so I'm going to take the quotient quotient of the month and divide it by three so I'm gonna see what it does here it's gonna so it's gonna divide the year into um, to sequence of three months, but they're not really well set up. I would like the switch to happen one, uh, one month later, so I have to take the month plus one. What does it do if I do that? Uh, actually, it's going to be the month plus the plus one is going to be outside. Here, what does it do? Uh, actually, it's going to be the other way. Minus one. Yeah, so basically we have the same figure for January, February, March, and then, then it changes every three months, and each time we'd like to add one, so I'm gonna take this plus one. Like this, and now I have to take it as a number. So we're gonna use this. First we um, compute the month, then we remove one, and this is to avoid that, uh, for example, December is gonna be 12, to avoid that the rest is going to be the remainder is going to be zero then we divide by three and take the empire the entire part of that and add one um, to make sure that we start always from one and not from two zero so you can use this formula quotient of the month minus one by three plus one this is going to give you the quarter each time for each day so you can download the file right below uh, to reuse the formula and I'll see you tomorrow for a new Excel tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. This way you'll be notified as soon as I publish it. See you. Ciao.